Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And now if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. I love you all, okay? <laughs> now today's video is going to be a good one. We're laying out all of the winter fragrances. So hopefully this list will also kind of serve as a gift guide. If you're doing a little bit of holiday shopping, these perfumes are amazing in the colder months. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys. So the first one on this list is actually a Tom Ford fragrance. Now, this is, I think the third Tom Ford that I've added to my collection. So I am coming around to some of his scents, but this one I absolutely adore. This is Noir um, Parfum. And to my understanding, this one is being or has been discontinued and replaced with Noir Extreme. This one I prefer over that version. And I say that because this one just goes a little bit deeper, darker, um, and I just absolutely love this scent. Now this one opens with these, you know, beautiful citrus notes, but it's very gourmand, okay? Because once you get to the middle notes, you're introducing what they call a kofi note, okay? So kofi is going to be um, an Indian dessert. It's like an ice cream. So you've got that very milky, like tonic quality to the fragrance with the addition of um, a few spices like cardamom, you know, things like that, that would be found in a coffee dessert. It's very ambery. It's got touches of rose, jasmine. And then the base is when you're getting that beautiful vanilla and sandalwood and amber. So. It's just a beautifully blended dark vanilla fragrance, okay? This, you know, you can definitely pick up on the amber. So if you're not a fan of amber, definitely, you know, get your nose on it first before you buy it, but it is still easy to find. I didn't have any issues getting my hands on a bottle of this, you know, with it being discontinued, but just all around a beautiful fragrance and Honey, this is a winter stunner, okay? This girl has got herself together. This is perfect for a date night, but you can also wear this to work into the boardroom, okay? So definitely get your hands on this if you don't have it in your collection. This is Tom Ford's Noir Parfum. Okay, the next one on this list, you guys, I am obsessed with. I have been spraying this thing every day since I got it. And I'm talking about Fragrance du Bois, Minui et Demi. This is such a beautiful gourmand fragrance. Now, this is a new bottle, okay? I know when this initially launched last year, there were, um, you know, people saying that they had performance issues out of this fragrance. I don't know if they've reformulated it since the original launch, there's no issue with the performance here. Not on my skin, not in my clothes. This will stay on your clothes for days, weeks, if you don't <laughs> wash that garment. This is an amazing gourmand scent, okay? So you're opening with something very spicy. This is overall a spicy scent, but you're really getting hit with spices, you know, in the very opening of the fragrance. So it opens with um, pimento pepper, if I'm not mistaken, and then a pepper. Okay, so in the mid, you start to get into the delicious, sweet, gourmand goodness of it all. This is, got a little bit of coffee in it, okay? Now it doesn't like scream coffee. This is not a coffee fragrance, you know, like a Montal or a black opium. It's hard for me to just distinguish the coffee note, but it's there, okay? So it's lending some complexity to the fragrance. Okay, to me, this scent is so addictive because of the caramel note. The caramel note in here is thick, okay? It is strong. If you love a caramel note in your gourmands, this is a V1 to get your nose on, okay? And then this is rounded off so beautifully with cardamom. 
you have cinnamon. So the base gets very vanillic and boozy, but it also introduces the most amazing woody notes. So you've got cashmere, you have a sandalwood, I think a little bit of cedar. Um, mm, it's absolutely stunning. The cinnamon, the musk, I mean, it's very well blended. I mean, and I don't expect any less from this house. This is a gorgeous gourmand scent and I am ecstatic <laughs> to have this one in my collection and I will be wearing it out all winter. Okay, now this next one is Note Vani. And this fragrance is a boozy vanilla scent. Okay, and this is by M. Mikolov. So this is a very rich, boozy vanilla, okay? It's sweet, but it's not super heavy. This can be worn during the day, date night. You can wear it to work. It's definitely a compliment getter, okay? And it, it is a very vanilla forward fragrance. So it is definitely the star of the show. So if you love a good vanilla scent, you've got to get your hands on this one. But with this one, there is an introduction of a Kanye note. And I love a good cognac note. So this is, of course, just masterfully blended. I mean, in Mecca Love, they just make the most beautiful scents. And this, let's just look, look at this bottle. Just look at it, it's hand painted, okay? Little touches like that, I just love it. It's hand painted, it's got these little crystal studs on it. I mean, it's just absolutely, beautiful to have in your collection, but the scent is also just as beautiful. One opens with some citruses and it's followed by floral notes in the heart. Then in the base, you've got amber, sandalwood, and overdose of vanilla. And this is not gonna give you just like way out there a ton of projection, um, but it's definitely not a skin scent either. So this one is, you know, it's gonna be great for any time really, this is this can be worn year round, but this is definitely one that's going to shine in the winter um, because it's just so sweet and it's boozy and it's an amazing vanilla fragrance. That is Note Vanille by M. Mekalef. All right, the next one on the list is going to be Monger Lawn, but the intense version. I am such a fan of the original. And I mean, I had to add the intense because this one is even sweeter. This one is, you know, it's definitely got the exact, you know, same DNA as the original. There's not a huge variation, but when this one dries down, it does go a little bit deeper, a little bit denser. It feels a lot smoother to me. This one dries down into the most amazing, sweet, sensual, lavender vanilla fragrance. It's, I don't know, this one may may have my heart over the original, I don't know. But this one is just the one to go to for those winter months because it doesn't um, have, you know, that super sparkly quality like the original. This one is just going to be a little bit denser. It's going to be smoother, a little bit creamier. Um, this one, I don't know, it's just the way that they blended this, it's even more like well blended than the original. I love the way the original one is blended, but this one, mm, it's just next level. I absolutely enjoy this scent. And this one is one, I mean, Mongerlan period, is just one that belongs in every woman's collection. If you love lavender, if you've never experienced the Mongerlan line, definitely get your nose on it. Um, I feel like if you're trying to perfume shop, you know, for a woman, this is a safe blind buy. If you know that they like lavender, this is a safe blind buy. When people ask me for recommendations, um, I always throw this one out, okay? And they are impressed and they love it each and every time. Again, that is a monger lawn, the intense. Okay, now you guys know how I feel about the House of Killian. This next one is Black Phantom. And when I tell you, I am, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I'm gonna actually have to spray this one just so I can smell it. This scent is so delicious that it's criminal, okay? Guys, please get your nose on this one. This is unisex but it does lean a little masculine. However, 
I wear this and I, I thoroughly enjoy wearing this scent. This is so boozy, okay? <laughs> but it's rounded off with these intense coffee notes. You've got caramel, it's so chocolatey, it's creamy. You know, it's got this amazing, like, um, like heavy cream coffee. Just, it's, it's just, oh, uh, it's such a delicious scent, okay? <laughs> It's very dark, it's rich, it's warm. It is everything that you want to smell like in the winter time, okay? Ladies, if you if you tested this and you feel like maybe it lands a little bit too masculine, honey, get it for your guy because you're gonna wanna smell this on somebody at some point this winter. This is worth every penny. This has amazing performance, okay? I know Killian, sometimes, you know, they'll get the reputation for having more of that moderate um, performance, but this one is just, it's a little its a little step above, I'm telling you. This one lasts a long time on skin. This one projects. This one is just, I mean, it's a stunner to me. This is a masterpiece gourmand right here in this little bottle, okay? Worth every red cent. And again, if you're looking for a fragrance to maybe get your guy, uh, listen, this is the one to get your nose on, okay? Beautiful fragrance. And that again is Black Phantom by Killian. The next one is Orchidy Vanille, and this is by Van Cleef and Arpels. Now this scent is it is a gourmand, okay, go figure. But this is so like airy and it's powdery and it's just beautiful. This is going to be your vanilla, but it's also very heavy on the cocoa aspect of it. So you've got this heavy vanilla, you've got these beautiful vanilla orchid notes going through it. And then you come in with this bitter orange and this um, this chocolate, this cacao. It is so beautiful, so delicious. This is the one to pull for when you want a gourmand, but you don't want to be weighed down in sugar. You don't want it to be too thick and heavy and syrupy. That is not what this is. This is this is cocoa, this is vanilla, this is a little hint of orange, but the orange dies down. So what you're left with is gonna be a very powdery cocoa vanilla scent. And it is so stunning, so beautiful. And again, that is Orchidy Vanille by Van Cleef and Arpels. Staying in the lane of chocolate, <laughs> honey, it is winter time, okay? We want the hitters that are going to make us smell like a delicious winter snack, okay? And that is absolutely going to be Chocolate Greedy by Montal Paris. Now this scent, you've got to want just a straight up, wonderful, delicious cocoa scent. This, if you wanna smell like a brownie, if you wanna smell like a snack, this is it. Now, this one is so gorgeous on its own, but if you want to add a chocolate element to any of your fragrances, this is the one because it's such a rich, beautiful, powdery, like true chocolate um, scent. And it's, you know, it's reasonably priced for a niche fragrance. I love this scent. This smells like you're just like, literally like you're a warm brownie. That's what this smells like. And my daughter absolutely loves when I put this on because she's like, mama, you smell just delicious. I'm like, girl, I know. I mean, this one pairs so beautifully with um, Chevador by House of Siage because that one is like raspberry, it's strawberry, it's creamy. When you put these together, please, you smell like an absolute snack. But for the winter, Holiday, you just wanna smell like pure chocolate, this is it, this is the one, okay? And again, that is Chocolate Greedy by Montel Paris. All right, you guys, the next one on this list that I know I will definitely be wearing more of this winter is going to be Jasmine Rouge, and that is by Tom Ford. This scent is Jasmine Done Right. 
for those who wanted to get on that alien bandwagon, but it's just too much. I mean, and that scent is a lot, <laughs> very polarizing scent. Try Jasmine Rouge because to me, this is still a very deep, sexy Jasmine fragrance, but this is done beautifully. This is not going to be overpowering slightly spicy because it's got, you know, it, it opens with a ginger, cinnamon, bergamot, it's got pepper, okay? And then in the middle is when you have all of these beautiful florals. You have an abundance of jasmine, but they add that ylang ylang in there and it automatically just makes it deeper, okay? So you're not just left with all these white flowers and spices. This is such a beautiful scent, okay? Then you also have a little bit of clary sage in there. Okay, when you get down to the base, it is vanilla, it is leather, it is, you know, got a little bit of amber in there. It is a stunning jasmine fragrance. And again, like I said, if Alien just did not work for you, definitely get your hands on this because this is also a very sexy jasmine scent. If you're looking for a gift for the girl who loves a good floral, white floral, this is it, this is the one. Um, I really don't think you can go wrong with this. I would say it is a safe blind buy if you know that person loves a jasmine scent. It's so buttery, it's so, oh, uh, it's just so good. It is so good. And that is Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. Hey, okay, you guys, this one made the fall list and this one is also on the winter list. How can I get through a cold month without uh, my boo? Okay, this is Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. And this, this is the most gooey, delicious, amber scent, period, okay? I feel so bad for those women that this, lean, this pulls masculine on. It does not do that for me. It opens slightly masculine, yes. But give it 15 minutes on my skin, it is so sweet. Any elements of masculinity have escaped, okay? They have drifted off into the air. And what I'm left with is just this delicious, ambery, vanilla, benzoin scent. This is so stunning. It has amazing sillage, wonderful longevity. Wear this, guys, wear this to the office and see it on every girl you know, ask you, what the heck are you, what are you wearing? What do you have on? Women, don't be afraid of this scent. Test it, okay? Get your nose on it, test it, because it does not pull masculine on everyone. This is absolutely one of my favorite scents for um, the cold weather because it you literally feel like you're being wrapped, okay? You're wrapped up in amber and vanilla and it's almost like the most delicious hug is what you're receiving. That is what, Francois gives me, it's a hug when I'm cold, okay? It is absolutely beautiful, and this is a masterpiece amber fragrance, in my opinion. Right, you guys, the next one on this list is Delox by Tiziana Terenzi. Now how, how on earth can we have a winter list that does not include some type of a rose Okay, and coffee scent. No, 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 okay? Now I have Intense Cafe, Intense Cafe is everything, but this, it just hits a little different. Delox is very reminiscent of Intense Cafe, but Delox introduces that note of honey, okay? This is definitely going to be smoother, less scratchy than Montal. Um, Delox is just stunning. Now this is not going to be as loud of a projector as Intense Cafe, but that could be a good thing. Everybody don't wanna be loud, but this still is going to project, okay? This still has amazing performance. Um, it's just, it's beautifully crafted. And if you love Intense Cafe and you're looking for maybe, you know, a little bit of an upgrade as far as the, the refinement of the fragrance, this is the one to get your nose on. And if you know that the person, you know, loves coffee and, and rose scents, hello, gift. They, they would love this. Look at the bottle. The bottle is absolutely stunning. This solid gold, and then it's got the leather. 
with the gold printed there, the detail around, you know, the neck here. I mean, it's just a beautiful bottle. And if they're a perfume collector, they will just absolutely love to have something like this on their display. And again, the juice equals the bottle. It matches. I mean, they are just beautiful fragrances that come out of this house. I absolutely will be wearing my Deluxe all winter. You guys, so the next floral that I will be whipping out for the winter months is going to be Delina Exclusive. I love my original, but let me tell you, for winter, it is absolutely the exclusive that that I pull for because it doesn't have the rhubarb. I think they introduced a little bit of oud in this one. This also too is very instancy. It's rose. It's more vanillic, okay? It goes a little bit more deeper. It's just a little bit more grown up, a little bit more sophisticated than the original. And this is just going to be a stunning rose scent for the fall and winter. Um, you still get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of tartness, not as much as the original, but it's still just, it's just still such a very unique fragrance. Even without the rhubarb note, it is stunning. Oh my goodness. It is still got a slight tartness to it because it has the lychee in there, okay? But, you know, again, the vanilla, the amber, the Turkish rose. I mean, everything that is needed to make this beautifully grounded, ugh, sensual, but still just very classic, okay? Timeless rose fragrance. This is it. This is stunning and do you need both in your collection? Yes. I was the one that used to say no, and I absolutely today say yes, because this just, it's, they're very close, they're very similar, but those little changes, it makes it just its own unique beauty. And I absolutely enjoy this fragrance. And that is Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marley. You guys, now the next one is actually en route to me. This is a wish list item. But the wish has been fulfilled. I'm just, look, I'm looking out the window every 20 minutes looking for the mailman because <laughs> when I tell you, <laughs> you guys, guess what just came in the mail? <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect. You smell speaking it up. You were talking about the law of attraction. I spoke this up, okay? This was not even supposed to arrive. Oh my God, but anyway. Back to the video, Herod by Parfums de Marley. Now that we have it here in the flesh, let's just jump into this amazing tobacco scent. This is highly unisex, as I was saying before the mailman knocked at the door. Oh my gosh, okay, this is very spicy. You're going to have to like it spicy to, to wear this scent, but this is a very tobacco heavy, cinnamon, peppery, sweet perfume, okay? This is so perfect for winter. You almost smell like a baked apple pie. There's no apple note in this, and I don't know why. You get like, almost like a fruity nuance to this. Okay, but let me tell you the notes. Okay, so here it opens with cinnamon and pepper. The middle notes are tobacco leaf, incense, osmanthus, and laudanum. Okay, so in the base, you have a heavy vanilla presence, okay? The vanilla's there, you have iso e super, you have musk, cedar, cypriol, and then you have vetiver. There is just something about incense and vetiver to me. I don't know why, I just cannot get enough of those two notes. But then they're in this fragrance together, okay? Along with tobacco, I'm a sucker for tobacco. It is a stunning scent. This is the most amazing scent that you could buy your guy. If you're shopping for a cologne or perfume for your significant other and, it, and it's a guy, this is a no-brainer, just get it. Just, 
just go, okay? Now, women, you're going to have to test it to see, you know, if you feel like it leans too masculine. To me, I don't feel that. I feel like this is perfectly unisex. And like I said, again, this is very sweet, okay? This is very sweet. If you love tobacco, you like it spicy, sweet, you're going to more than likely appreciate this scent. Definitely get your nose on it. I think this is one of their uh, top selling uh, colognes, perfumes uh, for the guys. And, um, you know, just like Delina, we have that for the girls. They have this for the guys, but ladies don't sleep on this. This is absolutely an amazing fragrance for both men and women. Again, that is Herod by Parfums de Mar. All right, my beautiful people, that is the video for today. Please do not forget to leave me a comment, okay? Let me know what are your favorite winter fragrances. What are your go-tos? Also, let me know some things that you may have on the wish list. What would you like for Santa to bring you this winter, okay? I wanna hear all about it. Leave me a comment below. I want you all to start commenting more, all right? Now, if you are not subscribed, it's free. What are you waiting for, sis? Okay, or bro, I need you to hit the subscribe button, okay? I need you to make sure the notifications are turned on. Now, if you found any value in the content, give the video a big thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow. All of the fragrances mentioned will be linked below as usual. I always link things that I talk about um, you know, some people, hey, I mean, they just, they're asking me, I'm like, hey, it's all linked below. So I just wanna start telling you all every video, any fragrances discussed will always be linked below for purchase. They are affiliate links. All right, you guys, and that is everything for today. I will catch you guys on the next one.